Welcome to Jom Study Law YouTube channel. Hope they are doing very well in your studies and preparations for the upcoming examination. Today's lesson is a reviewing partial chemistry exam multiple choice question for autumn 2020 part 2 of 2. So without further ado, let's get started. Question number 21. The equation show a reaction between aqua hydrogen bromide and aqua ammonia. Which statement describes the role of aqua hydrogen bromide? The answer is it is a proton, proton donor. D. The equation for three reactions are shown. The lead nitride reacts with the potassium iodide and to produce PBI2 plus 2KNO3. And question and number two is 2AGNO3 plus CUI2 to produce CUNO3 plus bracket 2 plus 2AGI. And number three will be CUO plus H2SO4 to produce CUSO4 plus H2O. Which reaction are suitable for making a salt by precipitation? The lead nitride reacts with potassium iodide, causing exchange of iron between the reactant, leading to the formation of potassium nitride and a yellow precipitate of lead iodide. And the reaction involved is given below. So it is the same as the number one. And the answer for this will be the most reaction that making a salt by precipitation is number one and number two. Zinc iodide is an anhydric oxide. Which row describes the reaction of zinc oxide? Amphoteric oxides are those oxides which react with both acid and alkaline to give salt and water. So zinc oxide, that is the NO, react with hydrochloric acid as well as sodium hydrochloride hydroxide to give salt and water. So salt formed in the respective cases are zinc chloride and sodium zinc. So the answer will be A, reaction with alkaline and reaction with acid. The student carries out an experiment to prepare pure magnesium sulfate crystal. The diagram shows the first stage of the preparation. He adds magnesium carbonate until no more reacts. Which process should be used for the next stage? Refer to the method of purification, filtration, and then crystallization and distillation. So, he asks you show the first stage of the preparation and which process should be used for the next stage. The answer would be filtration. Number 25, which row about elements in the periodic table is correct? The elements of same group have similar chemical properties because they have same number of valent electron. And statement number two, metals are on the left of the table. So to suit with this answer, it should be the answer for A. Please refer to the chapter periodic table. A new element, exfodium, or X was discovered with the following properties. In terms of solubility, is insoluble in water. In terms of the electrical conduction, it doesn't conduct electricity. And formula of elements is OX2. And the bonding in the molecule of OX2 as shown in the table. So in which group of the periodic table should the new elements be placed? I would say is that the answer for number 26 would be B. A flammable gas needs to be removed from a tank at an industrial plant. For safety reason, an inert glass, inert gas is used. Which gas is suitable? The answer for number 27 is argon. Transition element can have variable oxidation state. And which pair of compounds show a transition? element in two different oxidation states. 
Copper exists in two oxidation state, one and two. Cuprous oxide, CuO2, which cupric oxide is CuO. The key difference between cuprous oxide and cupric oxide is the cuprous oxide has a dark red color, whereas cupric oxide has a black color. An example of a two oxidation state is CuO. And where oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2, and therefore copper has the oxidation number of plus 2 to balance out the molecule. An example of oxidation state 1 is Cu2O, where once again oxygen oxidation state is minus 2, and so to balance out the molecule, and each copper atom is 1. So the answer for this will be 28B. Which diagram best represents the structure of a substance that is good conductor of electricity at 25 Celsius? The answer will be D. Why is aluminum metal unreactive? Because aluminum react with oxygen present in air to form a thin layer of aluminum oxide on its surface. And this oxide layer is a very stable and acts as a protective coating by preventing further reactions of aluminum. So the answer would be A. It covers with a layer of oxide. And the apparatus used for the extraction of aluminum oxide by electrolysis is shown. And which equation represents a reaction taking place at the end of. So the answer will be B. The result of test on solid S as its aqua solutions are shown. Test on solid S, the effect will of heat and it turn to brown gas given off together with the gas which will really like a glowing spleen. And test on aqua solution of S Effect of aqua sodium hydroxide, white soluble in excess given a colorless solution. And effect aquas ammonia is also soluble in excess given a colorless solution. The answer will be D. Part of the carbon cycle is shown. So what is the process of P? P is actually the process of okay, glucose is out. Okay. P is a process of respiration. It process and it produces carbon dioxide. During the process of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is used by the plant. And the process of R is actually decomposition to change to, to methane CH4. So the answer would be B. The element sulfur is found in a number of different minerals. Which mineral contain the greatest percentage by mass of sulfur? I would say that pyrite. The mass of sulfur contained in 30 grams of pyrites is 60 grams. Pure pyrites contain 46.67% iron and 53.33% sulfur by weight. So the answer would be D. Which a structure represents a molecule of ethanol. So ethanol is a two carbon alcohol and its molecule formula is CH3, CH2, and OH. Which statement about alkene is correct? Methane CH4 is alkene burned in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So they burn in oxygen. Which molecule is not produced by an addition reaction of ethane? The bromide loses its original red brown color to give a colorless liquid. And in the case of the reactions with ethene, dibromethene is formed. So, what is the answer for this? Would be CH3, CH2, CH3. 
the flow chart show the preparation of ethanol and some important chemistry of ethanol. Substance X fermentation and ethanol become ethanol and then through the process Y it become to produce carbon dioxide and plus the substance Z. So I would say it's that the answer glucose fermentation to ethanol via combustion process and produce carbon dioxide and steam. So I would say it's that B is the answer will be glucose combustion to produce carbon dioxide and steam. Which a statement about nylon and perylene is correct. Ethene glyco and terpelic acid are monomers which on polymerization give terylene. So the answer for this would be terylene is made from two different monomers. Which a substance is a natural polymer? Natural polymer occurs in nature and can be extracted. They are often water-based. Example, all naturally occurring polymers are seed, wool, DNA, cellulose, and protein. So the answer for 40 is D. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your studies and for your upcoming preparation, examination, and please subscribe to John Stabila YouTube channel and follow me at John Stabila Instagram. And customized note currently available at http beacons.ai slash John Stabila or you can access to Beacon page via John Stabila Instagram. Thank you very much and hope to see you later.